Look at the following clip and try to understand which sound you are listening to. Ba, 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 ba. We will play the same clip a little differently. What do you hear now? Ba, 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 ba. Now open and close your eyes at random while we play the first clip again. Ba, 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 ba. Did you hear different sounds with your eyes open and closed? Congrats, you just experienced an auditory illusion. You experienced an auditory illusion known as the Macock effect. Let's see what happened in the background. At first, I made a video by repeating the syllable fa. Let's play the original video. Whether you keep your eyes open or closed, you hear the same thing in this clip. Fa, fa, fa. Fa, fa. Next, I dubbed the video by repeating a different sound. I repeated the syllable ba. Let's listen to the audio clip. Ba, 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 ba. After that, I merged these two. We got the illusion of a completely different sound when we listened to the merged clip. Something like va. You get to hear the original syllable ba. If you close your eyes or the video is replaced by a black image. Ba, 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 ba. Why did this happen? In his book Incognito, David Eagleman says that the McGuck effect results from the dense interconnectivity and loopiness in the brain, which allows voice and leap movement cues to become combined at an early processing stage. According to neuroscientists, our vision dominates what we hear. A more common example of this phenomenon is ventriloquism. Let me introduce to you my talking sock. Hey, see, I can speak. Who do you think I am? A sock or a shock? Although we know that the human is speaking, since we see a moving object with the speech, our brain tricks us to believe that the sound is actually coming from the object and not from the human. Our hearing is dominated by our vision. Although neuroscientists also say that vision might not dominate our hearing all the time. In general, it can be said that our visionary and auditory areas are closely tied to each other in our brains. In this context, a quote by Daniel Kahneman will probably be very appropriate. He says that, the world makes much less sense than you think. The coherence comes mostly from the way your mind works.